What's up guys? I hope you're okay and you've had a fantastic week. I've had an okay week. It was not too bad, a little bit productive, you know, all the jazz. So my name is Nisi and I make fitness, photography and lifestyle videos. Mm, what else? If you are new to my channel, hi. Um, just press that subscribe button so that um, you can watch more of my videos um, and help support my channel. Um, so today I'm back with another video. I'm going to be talking about my high school experience, more or less the worst things that happened when I was in primary school. I came to England when I was a teenager. I was actually, I think I must have been 12 or 13 when I came to England and I attended um, my primary school back in Zimbabwe and I did my high school here in England. So, but then there's a few things that I didn't like when I was in high school, but I'll talk about that a lot more in a bit. So I did ask a few people, I asked um, people on Instagram, uh, what was your worst high school experience? And yeah, they were interesting, interesting. I'm only gonna pick maybe two or three because of time. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm guessing this person went to boarding school. She went to boarding school and she said beans dinish fukuto every day, boarding school. I have no idea what fukuto is. Um, is it like mapete or I, I don't know, beans with something inside? Probably bugs. I'm not sure probably is it's a hard it is a hard one because you know in boarding school it's just like anywhere else you don't get a say on what to eat you just eat what you're given and if you don't bring food from home if you don't bring food in your trunk in your suitcase then that's pretty much it you just eat what you're given so i'm guessing that was the case um yeah wow what wow okay uh, so somebody else said, in our primary school, the bald-headed teachers <laughs> with no edges <laughs> made us cut our hair. Woo! Wow! My hair was waist length. No! It was a government school. But the following term, my mom got me into a private school. She was tired of the BS. These self-hating women were spewing on children, always the girls. Oh my god, I know. Um it was so bad, especially the haircutting. I hated it. I hated it because um I I I I had really nice thick hair when I was young. And then when I started school, the school I went to was a government school, I cut my hair. I had to cut my hair and be bold. We had to go to school bold so I can relate. And if your hair if your hair was a certain length, just over what, like you had to have, if I, if I can find a picture, I'll put it inside um, this video. You had to have really short hair. That was, oh my God, I remember that. And to have your hair cut, wait, your waist length hair as a child. Imagine growing your child's hair and then when she comes back home, she hasn't got no hair. <gasps> wow. I, I feel sorry for you, sis, but anyway, we move. You've got great hair now anyway, so, you know, it grew, but it could have been longer had it not been cut. And yeah, wow. Yeah, I, I, I had to cut my hair. And then in high school, I ended up going to a private school. I only went for one year, secondary school in Zimbabwe. I went to private school and I could grow my hair. So when I came here to England, I had nice thick hair, but it was always in braids. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So the next person said, um, Kumbumuru and a chalkboard duster on your fingernails. By the way, there ain't no pain like that one. Girl! Mm-mm! <laughs> Don't remind me! Don't! Remind me, 
I know exactly what she's talking about. Basically, what she's saying. So, um, in Zimbabwe, we have chalkboards, and obviously, you've got your you've got your chalkboard dusted, the one that um, erases the eraser that erases um, the chalkboard. Um, so the ones we had had wood behind. They're made of wood, and then like whatever the little spongy bar, the spongy pit, the spongy bit. So the wood, the hard wood part is the bit, you know, when you get something wrong or if you get an answer wrong or if you're being naughty or if you're noisy, whatever it is, your punishment, we used to get beat up by those little wooden things. So basically, you had to put your fingers like this and then the teacher will get the chalkboard um, duster and hit you at the top. <gasps> would beat up their children the same way they beat, they beat up um, school children. I, 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 I don't think they did. It was horrible. So my own experience was um, was my um, primary school teachers. So basically if you're learning timetables or whatever it is, um, he would say like, oh, it's a pop-up quiz, pop-up questions. Okay, cool. If you get it wrong, he would be walking around with a with a sham, like literally a stick or some like for a, a stick. I don't know. I don't know how to call it in English. Sham. Basically, you get that. Uh, he would get that. He would walk around asking questions. If you get it wrong, you get two or three or four or five, whatever it is. And the punishment. The boys used to have it really hard. It was. It was really. They were really they were horrible on the boys because the boys the the boys would be beaten up a lot it was so bad but anyway yeah that was one and the next one was cleaning oh my god I mean it's nice that it taught us you know to to be clean to be tidy you know but the idea of you the school if the school starts at eight o'clock you had to be in class for 7.30. If you're there for 7.30, then that means you have to start cleaning, cleaning, um, sweeping up the classroom, putting wax on it, and all sorts. It was just like, we had to do the domestics because it's different like from here. Like here in England, you get cleaners to do all the cleaning. You get people that are designated to do all the cleaning for the classrooms. But we didn't get that. We had to do all the work. And gardening every school had a garden and you had to go out and you had to do agricultural literally farming we had to grow like tomatoes you had to grow carrots you had to do all sorts but it was nice but I think you know if you have a detention or something like that you'd have to go out into the garden and the worst part is you didn't have enough tools to do the work so sometimes you end up using your hands or you use whatever you can find to do the digging to do oh my god it was so bad and the playgrounds like if you if we went on holiday if we went on holiday and um if we went on holiday on the let's it's like a summer holiday by the time we come back to school, the grass would be like your own height because we're kids. The grass would be as tall as you. And you'd have to go out into the field and start cutting the grass, start cutting the grass, start cutting the grass. That was horrible. I, I, can't, I can't imagine my child having to do that. It, it, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's perspective. But now that I think about it, I, I I don't understand why they just couldn't get people to come and do the work because and that was child labour, not acceptable. 
Um, but anyway, the last one I'm going to read. Somebody said to me that my worst experience in high school was morning general work. We were asked to wash the bathrooms and blare toilets with our bare hands and no gloves. Oh, sis, sis. Oh, that's horrible. I'm guessing that was a boarding school. Yeah, it was a boarding school. Because in normal school as well, we had to do those things as well. You had to go and clean toilets, especially the older kids. Eesh, man, that was horrible. Um, I can't imagine what the children would have left in those toilets. And oh, I cannot. The Blair toilets are, yeah, the old type of toilets. If you Google it, you'll find it. But yeah. Um, uh, in, 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 by and large, in conclusion, in conclusion, the, these teachers were horrible. I, I can't, I don't even think, I don't think these teachers used to beat their children up, their actual children, compared to the way they beat us up. It's just, I don't think, I don't think they did that. And it's horrible. It was horrible. And I could... I don't know if it's still happening right now. I don't know if kids get beatings, but that was my worst part. I hated it. And yeah, uh, man. Anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on this video. Um, if you have any more um, experiences that you want to share, just write in the comment section below. And... I will see them and I can share them maybe on my Instagram or something. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. I really appreciate you guys because I've been away for so long. I'm just trying to get back on my feet. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And that motivates me to keep on posting, if you get what I mean, and put out more content. So thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Take care of yourself. Bye